New Delhi's severe air pollution prompts some to leave India's capital city. Welcome to VOA Asia Weekly. I'm Chris Cascajo in Washington. That story is just ahead, but first making headlines. China increased patrols near Taiwan's Kinmen Islands after two fishermen drowned while being chased by the Taiwanese Coast Guard. Taiwanese officials claim the boat trespassed into a restricted area. China disputes this, condemning Taiwan's Democratic Progressive Party for the deaths. Beijing is also denying the existence of restricted waters. Taiwan protested the Chinese Coast Guard's boarding of a tourist boat, causing panic around the Kinmen Islands. The Chinese crew boarded the Qingxia, carrying 11 crew and 23 passengers on Monday for about 32 minutes. Taiwan's Coast Guard escorted the boat back to Kinmen and the voyage resumed. Papua New Guinea will give the military the power to arrest after 26 combatants died in tribal violence on Sunday. Villagers and bystanders were also caught in the crossfire. The death toll was initially 53, but security forces revised the number to 26. Prime Minister James Marape condemned the attack, urging the warring tribes to disarm. More than 74% of South Korea's trainee doctors have submitted their resignations this week due to a government plan to increase the number of medical students. As of Wednesday, more than 9,200 trainee doctors had submitted their resignations and about 8,000 had left their work sites, a health ministry official told reporters. The government ordered striking doctors to return to work. Penalties include up to three years in prison, a 30 million won or 22,000 US dollars fine, and the revocation of medical license. A protester died on Wednesday as Indian farmers resumed their march to the capital rejecting the government's five-year contract proposal for guaranteed prices on select crops. Despite the offer, protest leader Jagjit Singh Dalawal said farmers are demanding guaranteed prices for all their crops. Severe air pollution in India's capital city, which has failed to improve despite efforts, is prompting a small but growing number of people to leave New Delhi to escape the health hazards posed by dirty air. Many are relocating to the western coastal city of Goa, which has witnessed an influx of so-called pollution migrants. VOA's Anjita Pasricha has more. Prashant Kalra, relocated from Delhi to the western coastal city Goa five years ago because the city's dirty air was making his then three-year-old daughter sick. Our daughter couldn't breathe in Delhi NCR because she needed a nebulizer every night just to go to sleep. NCR refers to Delhi and surrounding districts. Kalra is among a small but growing number of people quitting that urban sprawl as two decade-long efforts fail to clean up the toxic smog that shrouds it every winter. Most are heading to Goa, a popular holiday destination that has become a magnet for so-called pollution migrants from Delhi. For this couple, the trigger for moving two years ago was their daughter's persistent cough. She got put on a inhaler and also the nebulizer. When, that is when I realized that it's the air. Delhi's pollution is caused by a mix of construction dust, vehicular emissions and burning of crop residue. Doctors say every winter brings a steady stream of patients affected by the air quality. Exposure long time to high pollutants obviously affects everybody's health. The numbers leaving Delhi have accelerated since the COVID-19 pandemic, which gave the flexibility to work from different locations. When I moved to Goa, I didn't know anybody else, right? Uh, now, in the span of two years, I know probably 20 people who moved here for the same reason. Moving out of Delhi is a choice available only to a few. But the trend underscores that cleaning up India's mega cities will be one of the country's biggest challenges, as the government sets an ambitious goal of making India a developed nation by 2047. Anjana Pasricha, VOA News, New Delhi. Visit VOANews.com for the most up-to-date stories. I'm Chris Cascajo. Finally, a big milestone for China's passenger airplane aspirations. The Singapore Air Show kicked off on Tuesday with aerial displays featuring China's COMAC C919. COMAC aims for the C919 to rival Europe's Airbus A320 and the Boeing 737 MAX. It's the first time Singapore has opened the event to the public since 2020 due to the worldwide COVID pandemic. Thanks for watching VOA Asia Weekly.